Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Perfect Sports Nutrition is how to hold pads for conditioning. A lot of times you hold pads for technique, for power, but today's video, it's all about how to build your conditioning with pad work. All right, in today's episode, we're breaking down pad work specifically for conditioning. Now, I don't want you to be able to group in pad work as one big topic, right? You gotta split them up a little bit. Sometimes you're working it for technique. You might get your, you know, somebody working, taking their time, slowing it down, fixing the jab, you know, technical. Then there's power, right? Where you encourage your partner to really rotate, get as much generation, pivot the feet. It's not that much in conditioning. But today I'm gonna to give you three of the main tips you gotta do when you're trying to hold for conditioning. Now, usually you're gonna do this more fight time. You wanna get your person moving, getting their conditioning up. And this, to me, is one of the best ways to do it. The problem is with shadow boxing and even bag work and sparring, you're in control of your output. And sometimes when you're tired, you're naturally gonna kinda hit less or hit with less power, throw less strikes. But if you have a real good partner who you're comfortable with, who can motivate you, who can push you, there's not much better conditioning you can get for your fights than pad work, okay? So let's build it in and I'm gonna give you, again, everyone has different styles and techniques, but we're gonna show you the concept, what techniques you actually throw, that is up to you, but I'm gonna give you some of the do's and don'ts that I like and then three main tips you should do, okay? So tip number one is have preset combinations. Now, my biggest frustration is when I wanna get a great workout and a good sweat on the pads or I'm, I'm getting ready for a fight, I hate when my pad holder does something like this, all right? I'll bring it down. Jab, okay, um, let's go one, two now. Let's go kick, okay, let's, let's go switch kick. Okay, um, let's go uppercut hook. Okay, so that thinking process. It's a two, three minute round. What the heck are we doing so slow and we're thinking the processing time. That's not gonna give your partner a good workout. So the key is build set combinations, okay? So what we do at Bazooka here, we'll call it three combo drill. So for an example, we'll pick the most basic type of combination you'll throw in kickboxing. So maybe round one is just jab, round kick, you know? So jab, round kick, hook, cross, switch kick, okay? That could be a two combo, one combo, whatever you want, but it's preset. Now, the beautiful thing is I don't have to think, Matt doesn't have to think, and there's no communication, there's no talking. Good connection between pad holder and striker, there should be no talking. There's too much talking a lot of time. So now we know it's jab, round kick, hook, cross, switch kick. And so then we build it up. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we, then we just keep going, right? And then we can keep building this. We keep pushing, we keep building. No talking, right? And you keep building that aggressive pace and power nonstop. The only words that are gonna come out of my mouth are, let's go, come on, push harder, you can do it. You wanna motivate them, get them going. Some people don't like that motivation. They're self-motivated, so this is where the connection happens. So having preset combinations, usually we do three here. First round, we pick one combo. Second round, it will be combo one plus combo two. Then round three, it's combo one, combo two, and combo three. So not only is there no thinking, you got momentum, you got high volume, you got good pace, and that's how you really build your conditioning for the fight, okay? Three combo drills. Now, the second point I'm going to make is the last 30 seconds of each round, okay? That's an important time for your partner to really push. Now, a lot of times you're gonna see this, okay? The one, two, one, two, and 30 seconds. Push, push, push. Now, this is okay, but in reality, I wanna make this, and break. In reality, I wanna make this more fight realistic. Yes, you might throw some punches, but in reality, you're not gonna sit there for 30 seconds straight throwing these one, two, one, two punches. Now, what also I don't like about it is there's no power generation. So instead of maybe one, two, one, two, I might go do countdown sets. Could be. I, I, and a lot of times I change it up. Like if a lot of the combinations started with the lead hand, jab, kick, you know, one, two, switch, kick, right? They're all starting with the lead hand. So the last 30 seconds I might say, let's start with the rear hand, cross, hook, cross. So it'll be more one, so boom, 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 two, boom, 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 three, boom, 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 four, boom, 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 five, 
boom, 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 six, boom, boom, boom. See, now we got power, we got rotation, we got high output, and it's a little bit more fight realistic and aggressive. That's how I want my fighter fighting, not one, two, one, two, one, two. That's gonna get you finishes, it's gonna get you excitement. We want knockouts, right? We're not playing for those little, you know, tit for tat point games, okay? Power style, last 30 seconds. Now, the last point I'm gonna make, another one of my biggest pet peeves when I watch people holding pads. You gotta move, pad holders. It's a fight, you're simulating a fight. You have to move to get your partner to move. So what I don't like to see, what I see too much, is the pad holder stays here. We'll stick with that jab round kick, hook cross switch kick. So we stay here, okay? Whatever combination, then we wait here. Then we do it again, right? Like when does this ever happen in a fight, right? Yeah, you might want to do it just for the conditioning aspect, but each little part of the sequence to make it more fight realistic is just going to help. So let's go. Watch how I do it. I even like to put out my hand so my partner knows which direction to go. If I put my right hand out, they circle around. If I come here, and then when they're ready, we go again. Boom, boom, bang, boom, bang. I come in. He circles to the outside, circles this way. Then we come right back in. Boom, bang, boom, bang. I pressure again. Circle here. Go again. Boom. Hit, go, bing, boom, hit, bang, boom, building the counter shots, get them moving, bang, boom. See, I'm, I'm even moving as they move. We build it in, bang, boom, bang, boom, bang, and break. So you could already see, even with 30 seconds, the pace, your movement, the enter exiting, you're building in proper conditioning for a fight. It's not just the pad work, the hitting, it's the movement in between. How are you breathing between combos? How are you building momentum? All very important, okay? Very important lesson today, how to hold pads for conditioning. Use those three, okay? Remember one, have set combinations. Part two, those last 30 seconds, not just one, two, you can pace yourself. Power combos set to tens, okay? Last point, get the fighter moving, circling, angling, enter, exiting, pressuring forward. They gotta move, all right? Hope this episode was valuable for you. Make sure you keep liking, subscribing, and sharing these channel with all your friends. And make sure you support the channel sponsors, Perfect Sports Nutrition, where I get all my supplements, my BCAAs, my pre-workouts, my protein. Use code BAZOOKA20 to get 20% off your order. We have Hayabusa at Hayabusa Fight for all your Hayabusa gear. Check out their boxing gloves. The T3s are my personal favorites. Last but not least, bazookatraining.com. You get full curriculum taught by me all online for less than $10 a month. And you get four brand, brand new videos every single week. YouTube, you're getting two. Bazooka Training, you get four, and they're all kind of classified for your needs. Bag workouts, home workouts, tutorials, sparring drills, plus now with an archive of over 200 videos. And all the videos are classified and kind of structured in a nice convenient way. Boxing, kicking, kneeing, combos, fight concepts, all for you to kind of break down and guide your own learning. You need help on your switch kick? Search switch kick, boom. All of a sudden you have a whole bunch of videos to help you out, okay? Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. 
One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.